Support for today's video comes from Manscaped, the best in men's below the waist grooming. Use code TIFO at checkout to get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. In this series, we will analyze teams, identify problem areas, and suggest solutions in the form of incoming players. We won't follow gossip, rumors, or conjecture. We're concerned only with a player's on-field performance and their suitability for the role in question. Today's team is Newcastle United. Welcome to Sensible Transfers. Newcastle United are in a strange position. At once newly wealthy beyond the dreams of most clubs and yet precipitously poised above the drop to the championship. New manager Eddie Howe has a job on his hands, reshaping one of the league's worst defences and harnessing the few attacking talents that Newcastle do have into a team that can quickly rise away from a relegation battle. Now, it's possible that Newcastle will seek to make a splash in this market. And mooted signings like Coutinho, Deli Alli or Usman Dembele would certainly signal the club's arrival. But they might not be sensible transfers. But regardless of how they proceed, Newcastle need to get better and they need to do it quickly. The squad has serious deficiencies in every position. But the issues start at the back. Newcastle's goalkeeping and defensive records show them conceding relegation levels of expected goals and shipping even more than that in actuality. There is also a failure to progress the ball through midfield, hit the box with regularity and a singular reliance on Alain Saint-Maximin as the team's primary creative outlet. In short, we could pick almost any position for this Newcastle side, but if you can't stop the goal leakage and get some semblance of control in attacking transitions, then you cannot win games. So, with that in mind, where should Newcastle focus? So, Newcastle need, simply, the best centre-back they can afford, and then persuade to come to the club. Now, the latter of these is an issue. Most of the world's best are at top clubs, and few would relish a relegation battle, albeit in the prestigious Premier League. One slightly left-field suggestion is to Lucas Oscar Ortega, a hugely promising young Mexican defender with a good range of passing and high defensive output. PSV's Olivia Poscali, who can also play as a defensive midfielder, would bring excellent distribution with his left foot, but might need pairing with a tougher front foot defender. Jérôme Nguyene of RB Salzburg is a quick, physically dominant defender with good passing, but he's untested at the highest level. He does have a huge amount of potential, though. But our pick is the towering Lille centre-back Sven Botman. Botman is aerially excellent, defensively dominant in ground duels, and is most suited to playing in a fairly deep defence which suits Newcastle at the moment. Playing for a Lille side that still has financial problems and struggling a bit since Christoph Galtier left, Botman is both an immediate upgrade and probably an achievable target. He has been on many clubs' radar for a while though, so if Newcastle wait, they could face a fight. As well as toughening up at the back, Newcastle need to improve further up their spine. The back four needs shielding by a player who can not only opt to win the ball back and press, but also effectively begin transitions. An ideal pick is Leon's Bruno Guimaraes, but Alex was not allowed to select him because he's earmarked for another club. Ruben Kazan's hard-working and technically excellent Huang Yinbyom excels at carrying the ball out of dangerous areas and is also a ruthless ball hunter. Another intriguing option is Hoffenheim's Florian Grilich, currently out of contract in the summer. Tifo have long admired his defensive work ethic and progressive passing from deep, and a solid bid could tempt Hoffenheim under the current circumstances. Our pick, though, is Monaco's Aurelian Chouameni. He's defensively excellent, superb at interceptions and tackling, adept at recovering loose balls, and always looking to get his team back on the front foot. Although his defensive work stands out, he's a very handy all-round player, even weighing in with a surprising number of shots for a defensively-minded player. At 21 years old, Chouameni still has many years ahead of him in top-flight football, and he seems destined to play in the Premier League. So the benefit for him of shining at Newcastle rather than waiting a year or two for someone bigger to come in could be advantageous. Now, while we've put an attacking midfielder here, a central midfielder who gets the ball into dangerous areas is equally helpful. It's worth saying that Newcastle are still a work in progress under Howe, and so far he's played Joel Linton off Callum Wilson with flanking attacking wide players, so someone who could play as a 10 might be an option. But with Joe Willock great at getting forwards, a 4-1-4-1 is an option too, especially if Newcastle prioritise security in big games. 
One intriguing option is Brighton's Pascal Gross, another player who's out of contract in the summer and has plenty of Premier League experience. He's creative and an effective presser and would also be able to play wider if needed. Another good presser with strong creative attributes is the much younger Enzo Luffy of Lorient. Luffy's goals and assists output is oddly meagre, but he's a very effective progressor of the ball in a solid Lorient team and has a high ceiling, although probably not at the highest level. Empoli attacking midfielder Nedim Bajrami is a more direct ball-carrying prospect who has created a lot of shooting opportunities for others this season. And for a slightly deeper midfielder, Lons' Cech Ducore has built on his excellent promise in Ligue 2 two seasons ago to become one of Liga's more interesting central midfield prospects. He's another with super progression numbers, both passing and carrying, and he adds some bite defensively too. But our pick is Bayern's Corentin Taliso. The France international simply doesn't get a look in at his current club because of the quality of options in the squad, but that's not to say that he's not still a hugely effective all-round midfielder. Indeed, Tolisso would start at almost any other club in Europe, but for some reason seems to be forgotten every time the transfer window rolls around. He would be a massive coup for Newcastle and would add immediate international calibre quality. He can play anywhere from 6 to 10 in a lesser side, he defends well and he's an exceptional progressive passer. He might jump at the chance to resurrect his career, and Newcastle would be getting a peak age player around whom the rest of the side could be constructed. Today's video was sponsored by Manscaped, the best in men's below the waist grooming. See the Lawnmower 4.0. It features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce those grooming accidents. Plus, it's waterproof. There's also the Weed Whacker, Manscaped's nose and ear hair trimmer, providing proprietary skin-safe technology. Join 2 million men worldwide and get 20% off plus free shipping with the code TIFO at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code TIFO at manscaped.com.